This video will cover how to set up an account with uh, TACC or TAC and um, we'll be using Maverick 2 for the rest of this analysis so um, you can find you can create a TAC account by going to this website looks like this and you'll have to create a TAC account but you can also log in with your UT EID but in order to work with the server from your terminal you have to have a separate TAC account so you can set this up the same um, username and password as your EID but you have to set it up and then uh, once you do create your TAC account you're going to have to go through the reset password in order to create a password for the account so once you have your TAC account, you have to be added to a project by a PI. So you have to have a project with an allocation in order to connect to the server. If you don't have this, then you can't connect. And these I have linked here, um, just the basic guides for the systems that we'll be using. So you should read those before you connect. And then you'll also be using basic terminal commands. So here I listed some uh, helpful sources for that as well. So if you're in the Deep Lab Cut project on Maverick 2 in the Mickey Lab, I've already created a shared directory for you to upload your project files to. So in order to upload your file, first we have to create an archive of the project folder. The project folder is what we created last time in the GUI. So I have mine pulled up here. So we're going to use the tar command to create an archive. So what I'm going to do is just copy my address here and just keep the folder name and make sure that it is here as well. Okay, and before we do that, we're going to want to make sure we set our current directory to wherever your folder is. So mine is on the desktop, so I'm gonna set it to the desktop. And then I'm just going to take this command over here. And it has created the archive. Now we can upload it to the server. So in order to do this, you will need to know your um, your ta account username and your password. And you'll have to have your phone nearby in order to enter the SMS key that it will send you. So I'm going to once again just take my folder name and put it here. And then I'm going to put my account username here. And then I already have it set up to go to the shared directory that I created for this project. So now I'm just going to copy this and paste it over here. And so you'll see I have to put in my password, so I'm going to do that now. and then it's going to send you a text code. So once you get that, just type that in. Okay, and you can see now it's uploading our file and there it is. So now we're going to have to reset the terminal. So I'm just going to exit and open a new one. Okay. And now we can connect to the Maverick 2 server and check and see if our file is there. So again, you will need your TAC username and password and you'll have to enter in the text code that it sends you. So this is how you connect with the SSH command and make sure you have your username and everything. I find it helpful to have my um, username and password just in a little notepad on my desks, on my desktop so that I can connect easily. Put my password. 
and then I'll have to enter another um, SMS token. Okay, so this is what comes up whenever you connect. So right now we're on a login node and you can look at your files and change your files around within the login node, but then whenever you um, want to do some actual computations, you cannot do this in the login node, but I'll cover how to do that in a later video. So for now, we just want to check and see if our files are there. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to set the current directory to the stockyard folder. And this is the folder where you want to upload all of your files. If you're going to be doing something that's really I.O. intensive, then you'll need to do that in Scratch. So that would just uh, look like this. Scratch. But right now we have ours in Stockyard, so we're just going to go there. And then we want to look at the file. So you can see here I have the my shared directory file, but with missing a Y. Um, so we're going to go to that folder. Okay, and then we want to look at the files in there. So from here we have the Mickey Lab shared directory. So you should be able to access this from whenever you log in if you're on the same project. So now I've gone into this folder and I'm going to look and I see here the um, archive of our file that we created. So now that we see that our file is here, we need to unpack it. So this is similar to like when you zip a file and then you need to unzip it. So I've written out the command for that here. But make sure that you have your um, file name there. Okay, so now this should be unpacked. So I'm just going to look at the files and we can see here that it is now unpacked because it's blue instead of red. And now that we have this unpacked, I'm going to go ahead and remove our tar file. And then I'm just going to look at the files again and make sure everything is good. And you can actually go into the folder that you uploaded. And just make sure that everything looks correct. So I have the folder pulled up here. And you can see we have the config file and then the four um, folders here. So everything looks good. So that's it for um, this portion. In the next video, um, I'll show how to install Deep Lab Cut onto your Maverick 2 account and how to run some of the analysis.